Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another weekly live chat. I go live every single Wednesday night on top of a bunch of other times throughout the week randomly, but I always go live on Wednesday night. It is the week after UFC 292. We have a new bantamweight champion, Sean O'Malley. So we're going to talk about UFC 292 in general, Sean O'Malley versus Aljamain Sterling. What's next for Sean O'Malley? Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of, of stuff you guys want to discuss in terms of UFC 292. We can talk about all that. We can talk about the Ian Gary video I did yesterday, which seemed to upset quite a few people, which gives me, you know, utter joy, of course, giving the, uh, giving the people what they want. So I appreciate you guys for watching that video. But yeah, whatever you guys want to talk about, I want to also discuss a common theme I've been hearing from the MMA community for the last, you know, three, four days. Marab, Marab can't fight. He's injured. That's why we have to give it to Cheetah. Marab came out today and said, I'll be more than ready for December. I can be ready for next month. Marab came out. That's his words, not mine. He said, I can be ready for next month. So the only fight to make, in my opinion, is Sean O'Malley versus Marab Devalishvili. And I actually almost made a video about it, but I just haven't had time yet. And I might make a video later tonight. I don't know. I got a bit of a headache. But there's something that, that Sean O'Malley could really do. That would be the ultimate troll move that I think would be hilarious. And I might might talk about it in this video, in this stream. Might talk about it in the video. I don't know yet. So, first one here. What's up, Dominic? Second one here. What's up, Tiramisu Tuesday? What's up, Ninja? Most anticipated stream of all time. Really? Cut these fighters. Um, O'Malley roasted you. Oh, no. What am I ever going to do? What am I ever going to do? O'Malley roasted me. Oh, no. God, I'm so I'm so upset by that. I'm so upset by that, man. What am I ever going to do? I might as well just end the stream, delete the channel. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you're telling me to inform me or what, but I think it's hilarious. I, I love it. So, first time catching a stream on Star Time. Appreciate you. O'Malley talked about you on a stream. Somebody sent it to me. Somebody sent it to me. I think it was hilarious. I appreciate it very much. So, I'm an O'Malley fan. I'm an O'Malley fanboy now, essentially. Um... I'm basically, you know, I'm a full blown O'Malley fanboy now. He's turned me into a full fanboy now. Uh, Sean cooked you, bro. 10 7. It was bad. Oh, no. I mean, like, am I supposed to be upset about that? <laughs> am I supposed to be upset? Am I supposed to be devastated? Let's put it this way. Luckily, I saw it because apparently got taken down. He was scared of getting Boston crabbed. And uh, somebody luckily screen recorded it for me because somebody sent me a screenshot of it. And then told me where it was at, but I was driving, I was busy, I was doing something. And so I messaged in the Discord and told people in the Discord that it was that it was apparently up there. And I said, can somebody screen record it for me? I'm driving. And I was just thinking just in case it were to get taken down or privated or whatever. Uh, you know, or UFC copyrights, which apparently is what happened. And luckily somebody screen recorded it for me. And I look, it it made my day. I know a lot of people are gonna want me to be upset about it. It made my day. I I like it a lot. So and it wasn't even, uh, oh, I'm a dork. I'm a fat dork. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I mean, I'm sure I could I could poke plenty of fun at him. Billy, thank you for the 12 months of membership. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you very much. Cheetah knows that he's not deserving. He said at the end of the day, it's a business. Yeah, he's not deserving for sure. I turned Joey. I turned Joey and no one can convince me otherwise. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I think Aaron might smoke Talia. I agree with you. I think it might happen as well. What did Sean say? He basically said, I posted it on my Instagram. It's on my Instagram. So go find it on my Instagram. I'm not going to sit here and quote it and then forget something and someone's going to be like, oh, you left this out. That's my Instagram handle right there. It's on my Instagram. I posted it. I thought it was hilarious. I posted it and said something along the line. Let me actually read what I posted. I posted it and said, well... This KO by Sean O'Malley was so crazy, I thought I was going to have to be stretchered out of my office with no serious injury. So, yeah, Andy, you made the right move, my friend. You made the right move. It might have not been based in logic, but you made the right move. Um, thoughts on Roman versus Josh Frem. Josh Frem is literally going to get destroyed. Utter destruction by Roman Kabilov. I thought it was funny. That's the only thing he ever says anyway. <laughs> 
The funniest part I thought about of it, I, I got from it was, oh, I've seen this one already, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Because what's funny is, um, did Joey, did you mean to put a picture of Chris Weidman holding his nuts on the thumb? Yes, I did. Uh, but, um, what was I saying? If you understand you've been here long enough for the whole, for the whole Sean O'Malley saga, Sean O'Malley was literally the inspiration for the stretcher joke. He gave me the inspiration for that stretcher joke. Because O'Malley trolls the MMA fan base by saying, oh, I'm undefeated and, you know, it was a fluke and this and that and just different things. Pedro quit and there. He trolls the fan base. He doesn't actually believe it. He's just trolling the fan base. And the whole point of the original stretchered out of the cage with no serious injuries thing were was not O'Malley. It's not like O'Malley's watching my content. I know he saw this reaction, but it's not like he's watching my content. Again, it's nothing against O'Malley personally. It's more of against his fan base, if that makes sense. It's against a large portion of his like caught like following fan base. It's not really against O'Malley. You can go back and watch my videos. I was rooting for O'Malley over Aljo originally, but then I just didn't like the way the UFC was kind of doing Aljo. So then I kind of flipped. And then of course I want my prediction to be right. And then of course I knew. The O'Malley call is going to be like, oh, told you so, told you so on that one. So that's why I'm like, ah, damn it, you know. But at the end of the day, if you told me right now, if you told me right now, you go back, you, uh, you go, let's say you go back to last Friday and you say, look, Joey, you can decide right now. Aljo wrecks and submits Sean O'Malley in the first round. You get a perfect pick or Sean O'Malley KOs Aljo. There's a good chance I pick Sean O'Malley to KO Aljo. I've I've not been a fan of Aljo. I feel bad for the disrespect he gets. I, I just can't get over that the way he captured the title. It just rubs me the wrong way. And that's why originally I was rooting for Sean, but then you had the UFC force o Aljo to take the fight injured. And then you had Sean saying, dude, you got four months. And it was really three months. And it all kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And that's why I was rooting for Aljo. But it wasn't like significantly. So if that makes sense. But either way, I don't care. I don't care one way or another. If people want to be, you know, come at me and say, oh, you said this about Sean. Every, everything I've ever said, I stand behind. Okay. But anyway, the caption was hilarious. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. DDP broke logic. It's all his fault. Not going to lie. I agree. I agree. I got a perfect pick to Al O'Malley second round. We should have we saw it coming. We should have saw it coming. Your best take was on the Sterling stoppage. It was early. But it was entirely his own fault. Can't just sit there with an, all those unanswered shots and expect to go on forever. Agreed. It was early and late at the same time. So. I love how you sprinkle insults and jokes and otherwise serious monologue. That is the whole point of it. That is the whole point of it. So. The point is. You'll have somebody watching a video. Okay. They'll be listening to it dead seriously. And then I. I say it completely seriously. But I know it pisses off a certain fan base. And that's intentionally done that way. And that, you can go back to the origin of the channel and watch original videos from the first month, two months of the channel. You'll find different things like that. Where I throw it in there, it's not a jab at the fighter. It's not. I mean, I guess technically it could be. But what people don't get, and I've talked about this so many times, people are like, oh, you talked about bad about this fighter. You talked bad about that fighter. I'm talking to an audience. I'm not seeking these people out. And forcing it on, the, on those people. I would never go out of my wa way to seek Sean O'Malley out. And try to talk shit to him. And, and you know, try to insult him by any means. You know, I would talk, have a serious conversation and give my true opinions. If it was an actual conversation. But I'm not seeking him out. You know what I mean? I'm not seeking, seeking him out to go after him. To say this or that. I'm just giving my opinion on my channel. If that makes sense, you know, I think those, those people that go out of their way to seek people out that essentially want nothing to do with them, whether they're famous or whatever, and try to like troll them or talk shit or whatever. I think that's weird. I think it's clout chasing. I think it's attention seeking. The worst that I've ever done is post something on Instagram and tag him in it. You know, just like I posted a clip of him and tagged him in it, you know, if that makes sense. But the point is, to sink those certain things, 
Like, I synced in a joke about Conor McGregor in my Ian Gary video. I synced it. And it's true. It's facts, though. Also, the jokes also are usually facts. You have to go back eight years to get six wins from Conor McGregor. You have to go back two years to get six wins from Ian Gary. So, one of those guys fights. One of those don't. But appreciate you for noticing, Vincent. Appreciate you. Myra Bueno Silva failed a drug test for a fight with Holly. Back to Holly home main events. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Those are the worst main events ever. Now I got the hiccups. And also, I'm losing my voice, so I may not do a video tonight. I've been talking too much the past couple days. Too much videos, too much this, too much that. I need to I need to recover recover my vocal cords, you know. I've I've had thousands upon thousands, dozens upon dozens, hundreds upon hundreds of grown men abusing my throat over the last week. So if you noticed, my uh my voice is a little bit different today. So you probably noticed in the video, the Ian Gary video, I could feel it a couple times it like cracked in the video. So I may skip a video tonight and try to rest my throat, you know, if that makes sense. Too much action on the throat. Too much action. <laughs> Do you think Leanne Colby will happen in December or November? I feel like it's never going to happen at this point. I feel like it's never going to happen. I thought it might happen in October. But then it felt like, okay, it's probably going to be December. I hope, I'm still holding out hope, Leanne versus Bilal, UFC 294. That's what I'm holding out hope for. The UFC can, can make things right. Joe, I can't lie, that fight was everywhere. What fight was everywhere? He lame for calling you fat. Dude, I don't mind. I don't care. Of course people are gonna insult, you know, they're gonna they're gonna insult your personal appearance. It's just the the nature of online. I'd rather look, I'd rather be me than somebody else. Somebody else who's sensitive about that type of stuff can't handle insults. Believe me, I can handle insults. I wish you had made the cuts video at the time Tony Kelly was in the UFC. He'd be the only one on the thumbnail. That is true. Holly Home Misha Tate main event incoming. Ew, you're probably right. Nicholas Dalby versus Gabriel Bonfim. Who do you got? Is that even a serious question? Is that even a serious question? Is that a serious question? Gabriel Bonfim will absolutely smoke Nicholas Dalby badly. It's impossible to cover the sport and not find yourself on bad terms with fighters. Every big media guy in the sport has had it happen. Yeah, especially if you speak your mind. You're going to piss people off. You're going to piss people off one way or another. I just want you guys to know, regardless if you agree with me or disagree with me, I'm telling you guys what I truly feel. I'm not going to hide certain things or pretend I feel a certain way because I want to, you know, coddle to a fan base of some sort. So, you know, that, that's just the way I am. I'm just, you literally could not pay me to be fake. You could not pay me to lie. You could not pay me to hide my opinions. You couldn't pay me to pander to a certain fan base just to get subscribers. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about what anyone has to say about it. You know, if we can have fun, educated de debate. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm not going to be censoring myself about what I may or may not say just because I'm scared of pissing off a fighter. I don't care. So, Edwards versus Covington. What about it? I'm gonna probably going Edwards, but I could pick Covington. Sean versus Aljo. Okay. What's taking Leon versus Colby so long? Neither neither guy wants to fight. That's probably it. Thoughts on Rob saying he'll wait a year if Aljo gets the rematch? It, that makes no sense, dude. It makes no sense. What I would do if I was Sean O'Malley, I'm going to put this in a video. There's only, there's only 60 of you guys in here right now. I'm going to put this in a video, but I'm going to tease it at the beginning. I have a master plan for Sean O'Malley, and I want to put this in a video. If I'm Sean O'Malley, I would say, look... I'm either fighting Aljamain Sterling or Marab Davalishvili next. You two decide and get back to me. You two decide and get back to me. I would put it in, I would put the ball in their court. Oh, the chaos that would ensue. The chaos that would ensue. I would say, look, you guys, you figure it out. I'll fight either one of you. You guys figure it out. You guys figure it out. <laughs> because that would just piss them off. Or just take the Marab fight and piss Aljo off. You know? KSI, Tommy Fury, I don't even know. Joe, you taught me a lot about MMA. I've got into a lot being subscribed, so I want to say thank you. 
you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I thank you for watching. I thank you for watching, man. I really do. Thank you guys all for watching. It's, it's crazy to me. How many subs we got now? And look, I'm not going to spam certain content to try to pick up subscribers. I got 11,346 subscribers. I'm plenty happy with that. I'm, we, we probably lost a couple subscribers off the Ian Gary video because there's a lot of the MMA community condones becoming accustomed, accustomed to whooping your three-year-old son. But guess what? If you want to live in an echo chamber, go find somebody else. Go find somebody else. That's all I have to say about that. So I appreciate you, Swag. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate that I could, uh, I could teach you some things about MMA. That's the whole goal of the channel is to, to be informative, to also break down certain things that I feel like nobody else will say because everyone's a pussy. I'm telling you right now, most people who, who are on YouTube, media members or else, they're scared of pissing off fans. They're worried. I don't care. I don't care. I would lose every subscriber on my channel before I sit here and only tell you something because you want to hear it. That's it. So, I feel like my Rob Aljo will be next. Cody TJ. That would be crazy to see. That would be crazy to see. Um, let's see. But thank you for everyone. If, uh, if you message me on Instagram, thank you for letting me know about the O'Malley clip. Because otherwise I wouldn't have seen it. So I appreciate every single one of you. Reflecting back on the reality that Patty Pimlet was defeated. Jared Gordon is hilarious, especially when people falsely say it was a split decision. Damn, it was unanimous. You're right. You're right. I think Aljo just wants a rematch for, for the win. He'll probably win and relinquish the belt move. They're not giving him a rematch. They're not giving He'll never get a rematch ever. I don't think. Let's see what someone sent me. Oh. Oh my god, the next pay-per-view is so ugly. If you message me for the stream, the O'Malley stream, I just seen someone message me in Discord. It's not up anymore. He got he got he got he got cold feet and deleted it. He didn't want none. He didn't want none. Um, what are your thoughts on the weasel? Don't watch him, so I really don't have any thoughts. That's really it. Uh, I don't think Magni really beat any small children. Gary was acting. Well, dude, he shouldn't say it then. Dude said he's accustomed. Look up the definition of accustomed. Let, 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 let's look it up. Accustom. Accustomed definition. He said he's accustomed to dishing out those whoopings as a new dad. Customary or usual. His accustomed routine. So there you go. To do it on a regular basis. When you know it so well or have experienced it so often that it seems natural, unsurprising, or easy to deal with, dudes become accustomed. I let I let Neil Magny speak for himself in my video. But look, what went on there is, look, I'm going to be honest. People don't like Ian Gary. People just don't like his personality overall for whatever reason. Fair enough. Don't care if you do or don't. But they let it cloud their judgment. He called Neil Magny out for exactly what Neil Magny said. And the majority of the MMA community is defending Neil Magny. And they think they're right because basically 99% of people agree with him. So 99% of the MMA community agree with him. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous that people are literally defending that. And... Uh, they think just because everyone agrees with them, that means they're right. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. It's the, uh, you know, it's it's just a sad world we live in. Most people believe if it's a popular opinion, that means that it's true. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Make up anything. The earth is flat. If, if people say, oh, 85% of people believe that, it must be true. That's not true. It's called the appeal to popular opinion fallacy. That's what it is. And just because the majority of the community, probably most of you guys in here right now, disagree with what I had to say, you know, and you think, oh, well, I must be right. Look at all these comments agreeing with me. By the way, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Filter their comments and delete their comments because they're worried about certain negative comments. Don't get me wrong. YouTube flags certain comments and auto deletes them if they're particularly vulgar or crazy. But for me, I approve every single thing unless it's something wild crazy. I approve every single comment. I don't care. I don't hide from comments. I don't give a shit if they're all negative, okay? Because I stand behind every word that I say. And if you can't accept that Neil Magny suggested that he's accustomed to beating his small child and you can't accept that I say, look, I don't think it's right for any grown man, any grown MMA fighter to brag at a press conference about being accustomed to beating their small child, regardless of how they meant it. I don't think it's right. If you disagree with that, there's nothing I can tell you, you know? So, anywho, moving on. Jan Aljo 3 prediction. I'm going Piotr Jan all day. How does JDM versus Ian Gary sound as a matchup? I love it. That's the fight I've been I've been uh, clamoring for. If you guys want to see the O'Malley clip, it is on my Instagram. Apparently, the UFC took down his stream because he must have showed his finish, and so it got immediately flagged by copyright. So the stream is actually down. So it is what it is. And also, guys, like to go back to the you know I got the unpopular opinion. You got, most of you got are, are on the same page. I'm not asking you to agree with me, but if you don't watch the video in its entirety and understand where I'm coming from, then I, then I, there's nothing I can do. I, I was very clear in the video that, look, maybe this isn't what he meant, but this is what it sounded like to me. And so therefore I agree with calling him out on it. You know, I agree with calling him out on it. So it is what it is. You don't have to agree with me. I'm not asking you to agree with me. You don't even have to watch. Unsubscribe. Never watch again. Block the channel for all I care. Don't recommend. Hit don't recommend. Dislike it on your way out as well. I do not give a fuck. Okay? I don't give a fuck. Because there's so many fake motherfuckers online who aren't willing to speak their minds for fear that people are going to be upset with them. They want to be popular. They want to be famous. They want to be appeal to everyone's the majority's opinion and there's people out there don't get me wrong that come up with hot takes to try to garner controversy look the only reason i even made that video i didn't want to make that video is because the amount of the mma community that was defending it i could not believe it i'm like oh my goodness i let the community basically dictate what type of videos i'm making so I didn't really want to make that video. I had a whole nother video that I still want to make that I'm probably not going to make tonight just because my throat hurts. That's a great video. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a great video. I kind of want to spoil it right now, but I kind of don't. And it's going to be a really solid video and it's going to be a really an original video idea that I want to make. But I made that one instead. Knowing, okay, this isn't going to pick me up very many subscribers because 99% of people are going to disagree with it. But the thing is, I want to put it out there because nobody else is is putting those sentiments out there. And that's what I truly believe. So even if I think people are going to disagree with it, okay, I want to have an impact on it. I want to have an impact on it. That's the whole point of this channel is to have an impact. You know, if I can convince one pe one person to be like, oh, you know what? He's kind of right here. You know, I'm not I'm not campaigning for Neil Magny to be thrown in prison. I'm just saying what he, sound, what he said at the pre-fight presser was a little bit shitty. Came off the wrong way. He never rectified it. And I uh and I and I just wanted to, to call it out. That's it. Your last four posts about O'Malley, I think you're a fan. I am a fan of O'Malley. I'm a, I'm the I'm the vice president of the Sean O'Malley fan club. Hundred percent. Big fan of O'Malley. If someone look, let's go look, Sean O'Malley T shirt. Someone donates me enough <laughs> donates me a Sean O'Malley T shirt, I'll go buy one right now. And I'll wear it on a stream soon. I'm not going out of my way to buy it, but if someone wants to see me in some sugar gear, donate me a shirt right now and I'll go buy it. Let's see. How do I find his shirts? Shirts. I'm not buying from the UFC. I'm buying from him directly. I'd rather support him. Let's see what the sugar shop, the sugar shop. Let's see what he's got. He's got to have, oh, these are some ugly designs. This one's not bad. Of course. Nothing but like hoodies and shit. These are some, I mean, they're all right designs. They're not horrible. I don't know which one I would even get. 
Maybe this black one with the green sugar on it. I don't know. It doesn't have a lot of options, really. Most of it's sold out anyway. Yeah, most of it's sold out anyway. That's crazy. Dude just sells out shit left and right. I'll buy this big orange O'Malley jacket. That's $90. You know what I will buy? If they make some memorabilia with Sean O'Malley's autograph, him finishing Alja, I'll buy it. The Emerald T. Sold out. Yeah, everything's like sold out on here. Everything sold out. Most of the stuff is probably from the from the title win. Congrats to him. So. Do do. <laughs> I feel like you got more hate for the Wonder Boy situation. Yeah, I don't care. It is what it is. Again, I'm going to speak my mind. Will you dye your hair pink? Absolutely not. Please spoil the video topic. No. Um, Wade, thank you for the 499 super chat. Hey, Joey, do you remember when Dana said a couple weeks back to an interview, who cares to USADA? Who cares what USADA says? Just another joke statement from Dana. Yes, I do. And then he said, oh, they quoted me. I wasn't saying that, blah, blah, blah. And he, that's literally exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. Joey, what happens when you get 15 boost? I don't know. I think 14 is all you need, right? I don't know what happens when you get 15. Why? You got Nitro now? I'm not sure. Um, Joey, I like your content, but it's aggravating how many times you say you don't care if you if they never watch again. It sounds like you don't like your fans that disagree. No, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with you disagreeing. I've said this so many times, dude. I encourage a healthy debate, okay? I enjoy it. But if you're so angry about an opinion, you want to talk shit and, and throw out the weirdest shit in comments, I don't care if you never watch again. That's it. So, that's it. I mean, I, I want people to watch, but it is what it is. If you don't agree, then don't watch. Thank you again, Wade, for the 499. Twizzy Rich, thank you for the 1999 O'Malley shirt fun. Come on. Dude, I wish they had something. I I wonder if he's dropping any new merch. Let's see. Shot. Maybe, maybe I'm just on the homepage. Let's see. Tease. Dude, dude really said that. Because I'm not buying from the UFC. I'm not. Bu I'm buying. If I'm buying, I'm supporting him. I'm not supporting the UFC. I want. I wouldn't mind this white one, but they don't. Yeah. All all they got it. All they got in the white one is small and medium. So that'd be a crop top for me. Uh, but yeah, if I it. Honestly, if there's a if there's enough to, to buy a, a Sean O'Malley t-shirt and you want me to buy one, I'll buy it when it comes back in stock. I just have to find the right one from him. I'm not buying. Let's go look at the UFC's website. UFC, what's it called? UFC memorabilia, I guess. I don't know if it's not memorabilia. UFC store. Like the UFC, okay. UFC has some some Sean O'Malley merch, okay. But I don't think Sean gets a cut of that. Like, I don't mind this, like, GTA-inspired one. I don't mind this one with the Sean O'Malley and new champion. I don't mind it, but I want to buy directly from Sean if I'm going to support him. So, if I can find one, I, mean, I guess I can get this one, but this one's kind of ugly. It just says Boston 01 Sugar on it. So, I'll buy, I mean, I'll buy one definitely for sure. I don't know how much it would cost. Let me say, add to cart. I'll just add this random one to cart. I don't know if they charge for shipping or what. Oh my goodness. I got to do all this. Let me see if I can do this. Let me take a look. Ah, oh, no. Let me see if this works. Give me one second, guys. I'm seeing how much it is. Why is my text message not going? Oh, no. I didn't need that one. Damn it. I'm trying to log in to see how much shipping is, but I don't remember. Hold on one second. I think this is going to work. Let's see if that worked. Okay, I got in processing 
Um, click to continue. Okay. All right, let's see if this works. Let's see. Let me take a look. Please don't accidentally purchase this right now. I'm trying to autofill everything. So basically, a, a Sean O'Malley shirt from his store was cost about 45 bucks, essentially. It looks like that's what it's going to be. You can't get free shipping. So there you go. I'll put, put Denmark down for 20 from Twizzy Rich. Anyway, back to the chat. Sorry, guys. I wanted to check that out. Is Joe Martinez announcing or Bruce? Announcing Saturday or Bruce? I would assume Joe Martinez. But it might be the other guy. They used to have another guy that would announce. Joe, what happens when you get 15 boost? I already said I don't know to that one. I was already here. Thank you again, Twizzy, Ru Twizzy Rich, for the $20 super chat. 15 boost does nothing. Give an extra boost, but give an extra boost. Appreciate you. We'll see how many, how long our boosts are going to last in there. I don't know how long they'll always be uh, boosted. I boosted. I bought Nitro for a year just because. Imagine Holloway versus O'Malley. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, that'd be interesting. By the way, do you have a favorite car? No, I do not. Rob said he's going to wait for the title shot. I feel like he's going to be in for a rude awakening. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I guess so. He should get one, though. He should get one. Buy some Julian and Pena merch instead. You couldn't. You, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Only three days away from the 24-month badge. Damn, I got to get a 24-month badge. I might just. What I'm thinking of doing is I might take the 12 month badge and change the color of the 12 month badge and then maybe put my cartoon head on the dead center of it. So they're going to do Marab versus Henry watch and pray that, uh, and pray that Henry beats Marab. Yes. Cause Marab is a, hor a horrible match. I think O'Malley can beat Marab though. But yeah, I'm thinking about, I'm going to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been trying to think of what I want for the 24-month badge for literally like six months now. I might just have to give you the, maybe I'll just give everyone who gets a 24-month badge the cartoon head just solely as a badge. What do you think of that idea? At least I can do that temporarily. At least I can do that temporarily. And I might it might just be a permanent thing. You get the cartoon head next to your name. How does that sound for anyone who's a member and is going to stay a member for a while? What do you think? O'Malley versus Taporia prediction. I think Taporia is too big. Taporia is too big, too strong. But it'd be interesting. That'd be semi-interesting. I just think Taporia is too big and too strong. I think he probably KO O'Malley, and he'd be able to he'd be able to take his he'd be able to take his uh, shots still. UFC two ninety two. Shane versus Aljo. The ref stopped the match a bit on time, in my opinion. Okay. Umar, next fight prediction. I wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they get Maljamain Sterling. You think Sean can beat anyone at 135? Yes, 100%. 100%. I honestly think his worst matchup is Piotr Jan. Because he's such a good striker and such a good grappler. Have the UFC ever been to Baltimore? Yes, they have. What perks do you get for having the same name? What perks do I get for having the same name? You don't get nothing. You don't get nothing. I'm sorry. I think Yuri Alex will happen at 295, you think, as well? No. But maybe. Maybe because they don't have to pay pay per view points because there's not a champion there. So it could be. MVP versus Shavkat. That would be literally a brutal murder. MVP would get murdered by Shavkat. Would get absolutely wrecked. Do you know what Shavkat Rachmanov would do to MVP? It would be really bad. <laughs> It would be really, really bad. So, yeah. Joey, I absolutely love your videos, but man, it was disappointing to see you spreading the rumor about Neil that you know isn't true. You just hate him, been watching you hate on him. I don't hate Neil Magny at all. So, it's I, I, I let Neil Magny's words speak for themselves. I'm not spreading a rumor. Neil Magny said, and I quote, he is accustomed 
to giving out those types of whoopings or beatings. I can't remember the exact word he used there. He's accustomed. He, as a dad, he's accustomed to giving out those type of beatings. That's his words, not mine. So don't don't sit here and pretend like I'm spreading some false narrative. That's what Neil Magny said. You don't live in his house. You want to pretend as if you know exactly what he meant. I'm just taking him at his word. I'm just taking him at his word. You come on, you know you hate him. I don't hate Neil Magny at all. I don't. I hate his hairline. I'm tired of looking at it. I don't hate Neil Magny at all, dude. So you, if you want to think that, look, I'm honest, dude. I don't care if I hated Neil Magny, I tell you. I don't like him now. I think it's clown shit. Regardless, even if he didn't mean it, to brag about whooping your son is a little bit weird, in my opinion. So, I'm done. I want Neil Magny cut from the organization now. So, if you want to, I get it. You like the videos. We can have, we can, it's fine if you want to disagree. If you want to say a grown man who happens to be a pro MMA fighter who says, as a dad, I've become accustomed to giving out those types of beatings, and that's the type of beating I'm going to hand out on Saturday night. If that's the type of guy you want to support, so be it. I can't stop you. But you're not going to bully me in a live chat or a comment to not feel a different type of way about it. It is what it is. So, But it, to say I'm spreading a rumor, oh, you spreading a rumor. Oh, yeah, I let his words speak for himself. I said, anyone who wants to give me another interpretation, let me know. So, do, 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 do. what's up? Hope all is well. What's going on, MMA Now? Hope you're well. Joey loves to pleasure grown men on Wednesday evenings. Okay. Lamal hate his hairline. Um, yeah. Ian Gary's kind of corny, but he seems legit. I would agree. What's Who is next for Neil? My guess is as soon as his leg heals up, he's probably going to go back to those accustomed beatings. Would be my guess. Maybe something like that. Um, Joey has to bring politics into everything. You can tell when he'll start by how often he says another grown man. I've never brought politics into anything on my channel. I don't care about politics. I don't pay attention to politics. I don't care about anything to do with politics. Count me out. There's a weird component of MMA fans who love to pretend any opinion is political by some chance. I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't follow politics. I follow MMA. That's it. I got far too busy of a life to keep my eye on political shit that I don't care about. I watch MMA. That's literally it. That's literally it in a couple movies per month. So to sit here and say, oh, he likes to bring politics and he says grown man. Like, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know how that's political. And honestly, if you think saying, oh, a grown man who trains MMA shouldn't be accustomed to beating his three-year-old child. If that is political, then guess what? You can go fuck yourself because you're a weirdo. That's all I have to say. So... Personally, I don't think Magni meant that, but it annoys me. Everyone is acting like it's okay to hit a kid. Exactly. That's the point. So, um, hey, Joey, what's up, Calico? I don't bring politics in anything. Dude, how dumb do you think we are? I don't know. I guess you're really dumb. I guess you're really dumb if you think that. I've never brought anything political in anything. I, I don't even understand that makes sense. I don't understand. You're going to have to explain it to me. You're going to have to explain it to me how that's political. How is that a political statement? I don't even pay attention to politics. So weird that you say that. Magni, is it, there's literally weirdos in the chat always trying to bring up politics. And I literally said, I'm not talking about politics. I don't care. I don't know enough. So that's weird to say, oh, how dumb do you think we are? Well, I guess you're real fucking stupid if you think I'm talking about politics on stream. Politics in which I know nothing about. Magni isn't some master of trash talk. He was corny, but that was obviously joking. Okay. If that's what you want to say, I'm just taking him at his words. I'm just taking him at his words. He said he's accustomed accustomed to beating his three-year-old child and you're defending it that's weird what has he said that's political that's what i'd like to know what, what have i ever said on the channel that's political you tell me i've never made a political statement you can come through every stream every video i literally don't care so you can go watch some of my early streams people asking weird shit i'm like dude i don't care about that so it's literally for me politics is equivalent to YouTube boxing. Don't care. Don't pay attention. Absolutely ignore it. Don't give a fuck about it. But I've noticed the MMA community as a whole seems to be obsessed with certain things. I have paid for premium seats at 293. I feel like I've been catfished. You probably have. You probably have. Dude, 293 is garbage, dude. It's really bad. 
I don't know if I'd go to UFC 293 if I got free tickets. So, Magni didn't even say Paul's. Exactly. Look, I posted what Magni said. Stop acting like I misrepresented what he said. I posted exactly what he said. I clipped out exactly what he said. And it's for the viewer to make up their mind. If you want to say, oh, you know what? He said he's accustomed to beating his three-year-old child, but he's really not. Fair enough. That's your opinion. Go make a video about it if you want. But my perception of those words in the English language came up with a different assumption there. So, I think Magni just got caught with his foot in his mouth. May very well be. And I say that in the video very clearly. So, do, 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 do. 292 started off stacked but ended up pretty shit after the pullouts. Yeah, it was still a decent card, but I know what you mean. Yeah, a lot of pullouts end up kind of killing the card off a little bit. I think this is one of the few channels that actually tries to stay away from politics. Exactly. Thank you. I, 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 you, can't, you won't ever find a political statement on this entire channel, ever, anywhere. So, Joe, it would be like me talking about makeup. Or, you know, it would be like me talking about basketball. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know enough about it. Don't pay attention to it. So, Joey, what I respect about you is your willingness to say what's on your mind regardless of what backlash you'll get from MMA fans. Thank you. That is the goal. And you, I'm not saying you have to agree with me. I'm not forcing anyone to have to agree with me. I'm just giving my opinion. If you want to watch it and hear a different perspective, maybe. Or maybe we have the same perspective on certain things. That's fine. You know, I'm not forcing you to watch. It's free. You don't have to pay to even watch. So you watch it for free. So if you don't enjoy it, you turn it off and you don't support it. That's what I do. That's what I do. When I don't support something, I don't watch it. I won't click on it. I won't give it any attention. Why do you think you'll never find me? You'll never find me talking about YouTube boxing or very rarely. You never find me posting about YouTube boxing very rarely. And you'll see me blatantly ignore questions about YouTube boxing. You know why? Because I don't like it. I don't care for it. I don't wish to support it. I don't wish to elevate it in any capacity. Even in a small voice like mine. I don't want to. So I ignore it. So that's that, that's what I encourage you to do too. If you watch a video of mine, you're like, you know what? I really fucking hate this guy. I don't like what he has to say here. Don't watch. Go somewhere else. I'm not begging for your support. I'll never will. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate the people who do support the channel. I appreciate the people who don't want to live in an echo chamber and hear, be spoon fed the opinions they want to hear. I, you don't know how much I appreciate that. That's awesome. But at the end of the day, if you think I'm going to wilt to the MMA community to change my opinion or change my public opinion based on fear of backlash, it will never happen. It will never happen. I will always give you my true, honest opinion. Take from it what you will. You may disagree. You may agree. But at the end of the day, you can know you when you watch my videos, and, and this is one of the whole points of the channel. When you watch my videos, you say this guy actually believe what he, believes what he's saying. Because a lot of there's a lot of people that do hot takes just for attention. There's a lot of people that pander to fan bases just for clout and attention. And that's not ever going to be this channel ever. So Joey only talks about politics per bloody elbow. Yeah. UFC 293 is complete garbage. Two of us versus Volkov as a co-main. I don't know how the UFC can even put that on. This may be this may be history for the channel. Um, this may be history on the channel. Maybe your first ever one, one grading. Maybe your first ever one grading. So, um, I disagree with some of your takes. By the way, for example, I enjoy YouTube boxing, but that's just me. We don't have to like the same things. We're adults here. Exactly. Exactly. I have to disagree, not political. Joey has some progressive stances, but the social, not political. We're in this weird age where religion, politics, and social issues mend, and I don't agree with him. Look, I don't know exactly what you mean by all this. I'm not really sure. But look, if saying that a grown man who fights pro-MMA should not beat a kid is political, then I guess somehow I'm political. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not really sure what all this means, but it seems like you say it's not political, but then you say it is kind of. I don't know. I don't know what it means. What card are the worst on paper, 289 or 293? 293 is worst on paper. Can you rank your favorite light heavyweights and why Jamal Hill is your favorite? 
My favorite light heavyweight is probably Yuri Prohaska. Probably Yuri Prohaska. Um, John Jones is one of my favorite fighters to watch all time, but I don't necessarily like him. Uh, but Yuri Prohaska. But I like Jamal Hill, too. Keep speaking your mind. Never apologize just for the sake of pleasing your audience. I'm never going to apologize. <laughs> ever, 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 ever. I mean, obviously there was a reason to, but I get what you're saying, of course. UFC 289 was way worse than 293 on paper. No, it wasn't. I don't think so. 293 is atrocious. At least 289 had one good fight in Oliveira versus Dariush. It's not political. It's a social issue. We are in a time where those issues are conflated. It's weird as hell. Thank you for explaining it to me. I appreciate it. I guess so. I don't know. I'm not, look, I'm not familiar with all that. I'm not familiar with all, how all that mixes. But I'm just telling you, I'm just giving you my opinion. If you want to take it as something to do with politics, I, I can't. I don't know how I can explain it because I don't understand it myself. I watch MMA and I talk about MMA and I give my opinions about MMA and different topics in MMA. You take it for what you will. You can agree or disagree. I just hope you watch. That's it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Then. What do you think about Christian Rodriguez versus Cameron Simon? And should Simon... I think it's Simon. I think it's Simon. Get a ranked opponent if he wins. I love that fight. That's an excellent fight. And yes, nah, Simon should get, or Simon should get a, a fight maybe just out t- outside the top 15 if he beats Christian Rodriguez. I think. Dude, stop spamming that bullshit. I don't want to say it. I don't even want to say it. My favorite style is slick strikers like Wonderboy and Israel. Fair enough. I've, I think a lot of people would agree with you on that one. A lot of people just like the really slick kickboxers like Wonderboy and, and Adesanya. Uh, I like everything for the most part. I don't. I don't think I have a particular favorite. Uh, I don't. I don't have a particular favorite style in general. I just like well-rounded, well-rounded guys in general. That's that's what I like. Well-rounded guys. Well-grounded. Well-rounded grown men. Uh, where they have wrestling, they have striking, they have kickboxing. And, uh, yeah. Um, I would pick O'Malley over Holloway. What do you say? I I don't know. I would have to see how he looked. I would have to see how he looked, you know, at 45 first probably. But I'd probably pick Holloway. I'd probably genuinely pick Holloway. You know? I'd have to. Well-grounded men. I like the one-trick ponies. Fair enough. My, some of my favorite fights are the grappler versus striker matchups. I always think it's interesting. You know, that's kind of what we have with Aljo versus O'Malley. I should have seen it coming. I should have picked O'Malley. I picked against Aljo in every fight. I said he had some of the worst striking in the UFC. <laughs> um, Guys, if you could do me a favor, by the way, and go watch my UFC Korea. Not Korea. I don't know why I said Korea. I guess because I was thinking of uh, Korean Zombie. My UFC Singapore predictions i would greatly appreciate it i had a i had to watch a lot of tape for that one there was a lot of guys i couldn't really remember their fighting styles their most recent fights holloway has no reach and no defense though i i think he has good boxing though and i think he has good pressure and volume and he would have the size advantage thoughts on o'malley versus pantoja i think pantoja would get ko'd badly i think he would get brutally ko'd rip zombie saturday agreed the UFC better not pull any welterweights on 300. They'll either pull out, get injured, or not make weight. And welterweight is my favorite weight class. I don't know how welterweight can be your favorite weight class. I don't know how. <laughs> um. So, welterweight, they never. Nobody wants to fight each other at welterweight. So, I don't know how it's your favorite weight class. Did you see O'Malley react to? Yes, I posted it on Instagram. If anybody cares to see, somebody sent it to me. Somebody sent it to me. It's hilarious. You know I respect your stances even if I disagree with them. Thank you, NKS. Appreciate it. I think you generally believe that Magny was wrong. I think that Jamal Hill was one of the more, most more egregious takes. I don't understand what was wrong with the Jamal Hill one. He literally threatened a journalist. And I don't care if you want to say, oh, he that's not what he meant. That's what he meant. Okay? I didn't say throw him in jail. I think it's an embarrassment, dude. You're a grown man who trains MMA threatening a journalist because you don't like the way he asks other grown men questions. That is one of my favorite videos I've ever done on the channel. And that got one of the most hate. The most hate. Because it's wrong. It's wrong. Dude, dude's literally a grown man sensitive about another. Like, 
you're literally a pussy if you're that worried about how the way another grown man asks another grown man questions. You're a pussy. That's it. Oh, if we're in the same room, the only reason you could be okay is because you're going to be okay. Like, that shit is pussy. That's pussy. That's all I can say about it. I don't know. I don't know. If me and Jamal Hill were in the same room, the only reason he'd be allowed to be okay is because I decide that he would be okay. How about that one? Does that not sound like a threat? So, either way, fair enough. I'm glad you still watch, even if you disagree with me. You don't want to live in just an echo chamber of, oh, let me log in and hear my own opinion. So, did someone say cut welterweight? Cut 170, exactly. Get rid of welterweight in general. Everyone at welterweight trains with each other, and then Steven, who fights no one. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Patty Mills? I hope your dog's all right. I hope your dog is all right. I hope he's doing well. Um, Joe, you got to make state of the division for that weight class. I have to make my Wonder Boy video in general. But I may or may not make it tonight. I'm losing my voice, as you can tell. And you probably could tell if you watched the Ian Gary video. So I kind of want to rest my vocal cords. And not let all these grown men MMA fans just ab abuse my throat, at least for one night. Give it a rest for one night. But yeah, if you care to see, going back to the O'Malley thing, if you care, care to see the O'Malley reacting to me, um, it's on my Instagram, at MMA Joey C. If you want to go follow me and watch the video I posted on Instagram. Usman loses, now everyone wants to cut Walter Waite. Y'all are some good. Dude, nobody wants to fight each other. Nobody wants to fight each other. I mean, I don't get it. Nobody literally wants to fight each other. I don't want the channel anymore. I do not want the channel. I, I said channel. I do not want the division anymore. You think Usman is avoiding Shavkat? I said, yes. Shavkat asked for Usman. Per his manager. Said he wants Wonderboy or Usman. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it at all. Book error. No, stop, dude. He didn't threaten him per se. He did make it known that he despised him and thought it was beneath him. If that has to be taken seriously, in my opinion, so is Connor making guns. Dude, I, if you don't think it was a threat, I can't help you. I, I There's no way I can convince you. That's what he did. It was a thinly veiled threat. It's a pussy threat. See, I guess maybe I just see it that way. Because if I was going to threaten someone, I'm just going to say it. You know, I'm just going to outright say it. But... People like to beat around the bush and cer say certain things to kind of hide what they're truly saying and play the, oh, I'm just messing around. I'm just kidding around. But um, at the end of the day, that video was spot on. The only reason Jamal Hill was doing what he was doing was to build his YouTube channel. That is it. That's the truth. So. Um, thoughts on Marab not fighting unless it's for a title? He should get the next title shot, in my opinion. He should get the next title shot. It was a threat. No meat riding here, just the truth. Yeah, it was. It was. Next time I got to make a video about Jamal Hill, I'm going to threaten Jamal Hill in the video, and I want you guys all to send it to him. <laughs> Piss him off. <laughs> Hopefully he makes a video then talking about me. That'd be hilarious. i am be like, yeah, if I ever see Jamal Hill on the street, it's on sight. And I'm like, no, that wasn't a threat. I was just saying. I was just, you know, I didn't mean anything by it. I'll back off of it in the next video. <laughs> Usman is annoying for switching gyms and not wanting to fight anyone. Dude, Usman fought everyone and anyone for a while. But now he's annoying for not fighting Shavka. I agree. I think being too impressive is your own curse just because people will be scared to fight you. Agreed. Agreed. That I agree. That I agree, he was doing it to build his audience. Yep, and that was the point of the whole video. That was the main point of the whole video. Was all he was doing was throwing out thinly veiled threats to build his audience. And you can agree with half of it. I mean, let's go take a look at his videos right now. Let's go take a look. 27,000 subscribers. Look, dude gets no views for his channel size and for his stature, right? 14,000 views, 15,000 views, 8,000 views, 7.1K thousand views, 14,000 views. Ariel Hawani video, 132,000 views. Ariel Hawani video, 158,000 views. 
He made these videos to build his YouTube channel. Probably gained thousands of subscribers off of it. He knew he did it intentionally. He may believe what he says. I'm not saying he's lying about what he's saying. But he thought, oh, I'm going to be out for a while. Let me build my YouTube channel. I've noticed most of all Jamal's thumbnails are controversial. I didn't even look. I was looking at the view counts. Does it seem like people are ducking Umar and Shavkat? Shavkat, definitely. Umar, I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't think so. Corey Sanhagen accepted the fight. We'll see who else is getting offered Umar and Um, His second one was definitely to build his... Dude, I think both of them were. But either way, we can agree to disagree on it. I'm glad you can still watch even though you disagree with somebody. I will say I appreciate that. I will say I appreciate that. Who do you think Buckley's opponent will be? Did he say he has an opponent coming up? Fight coming up? I have no clue. I have no clue. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's almost going to have to let me know. PFL on tonight, Shane Burgos. I may or may not tune into that. I don't really, I don't know. I just. Clay Collar versus Shane Burgos. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Five fights left. I must said six fights left. Let's see. No, hold on. I may or may not watch it. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I'm burnt out on Burgos. Yeah, I, I don't know if I care either. I was just thinking about that. I think UFC will do Umar versus Pedro. We'll see. Um, bro, the whole thing was to build his channel and Ariel was in on it. They're playing us. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't, wouldn't surprise me at all. What's up, JJ Smoke? Umar had a shoulder injury. You're going to, you're going, you're going to remember us when you're on Rogan smoking weed with Baldy. Now that you hit it big time, you're on the shook show. Stop. Dude, stop. That's never, ever going to happen in a million years. Never, ever, ever. That was just coincidence. I happened to be on there. Because people think because I troll his fan base, so all his fans go over there and tell him, oh, Joey hates you, Joey hates you, and he probably heard enough of it. And then he's like, oh, I found this. Because he said he's seen it before. So I, mean, I guess if somebody either sent it to him or I don't know. But either way, I think it's funny. This is the second time he's mentioned me, that I know of at least. I wouldn't know unless somebody sent it to me. So somebody sent it to me. Somebody sent me a screenshot. Somebody else screen recorded it for me. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Did you see Nazarat Haparas being added to 293? Manel Kappa still on the card. This card's a real stinker. Will you watch? Yeah, of course I'll watch, but I'll be disgusted about it. What sucks is 294 is literally like two months later. 294 is like two months later. Let me look at something real quick. Damn. Okay. 293 is on September 9th. 294 is late October. Oh my God. So we don't have a pay-per-view essentially for two months in a way. They really screwed with the pooch on 293. 293 is literal garbage. Literal straight up dog shit garbage. I could miss this card and I would not give a fuck. Adesanya Strickland, don't care. Tuavasa versus Volkov, don't care. Tafa versus Lane, don't care. Pedro versus Turkali, I think is how you say it, don't care. Manel Kopp versus Felipe Dos Santos, don't give a fuck. Carlos Ulberg versus Da Ung Jung, okay. Jack Jenkins versus Chepe Marisco, that is a banger, but low level MMA. Blood Diamond versus some guy whose name I can't pronounce. Shane Young versus Gabriel Miranda. Okay. Ew. I mean, Shane Young. Three-fight losing streak. 
Dude already needs to be cut. Jamie Malarkey, a.k.a. Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog versus John McDessie. Nazareth Haparaz versus Landon Quintones. What a dog shit card. This may be a 1 out of 10. This may be a genuine 1 out of 10. I, if, I, if I was a fan, I'd get my money back. I like the Paris card better. Cyril Gans, Sergei Spivak, Manifior versus Rose Namajunas, William Gomez, Lucas Almeida, William Gomez versus Lucas Almeida, Benoit Saint Denis versus Diego Moises. Rest of the card, not great. Farid Basharat versus Kledson Rodriguez. I love that matchup. Volkan Ozemir versus Bogdan Guskov. Cut Blood Diamond, I agree. I agree. I'm filthy. I can't get my money back. What are you talking about? Oh, you're pissed that you can't get your money back is what you're saying. Imagine 293 undercard with Nunez Aldana main event. That main event is dog shit, bro. I can't wait. How many weeks away are we? Let's see. One. Wait a second. One. Two. Damn, so we're two weeks away. We're two weeks away already. I'm about to make a video shitting on that card very, very soon. It's a horrible card. I'm a going in. I'm a going in on that card. Can't believe I'm getting up early on a Saturday to watch a Max put a life changing beat down on a Korean zombie. I'm debating whether or not I'm streaming or not. So I'm gonna be annoyed if I stream it and like nobody shows up because it's mad early. So I might just not stream it and only watch it and do a post fight. I'm debating about it though. Dana's going to be like, we broke all records with this one. We're trending worldwide in social media and 56th biggest card we had in Australia. Yeah. Um, I'll be there if you stream. Thank you. The September 23rd card is good too. September 23rd. September 16th is falling apart. Oh, Fazeev Gamrot. I like that one. Bryce Mitchell, Danny. Yeah, that is a decent card. Marina Rodriguez, Michelle Waterson, Gomez. Maserat Rendon. Versus Tamirez Vidal. Miles John versus Daniel Argueta. Let's see. When did Daniel Argueta just fought? Cancel 294 for all I care. What will you do for things I like about the UFC 293? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. That may be a video I have to skip. I don't know what I'm going to find for it. I generally don't know what I'm going to find for it. Joey, just joined back up. That reaction you posted on Instagram was classic. To be honest, you gave O'Malley a lot of props. I know. But of course he's not going to see that. Of course he's not going to see that. He's only going to see the hate. He's only going to see the disgruntledness. Bro, if you would have been so much better if you had to stretch it out with no serious injuries t-shirt. I know, dude. It would have been hilarious. But I didn't want to wear it that night because I'm like, that just looks like the ultimate biased. You know? Looks like the ultimate biased. Imagine if Izzy gets injured. Oh my god. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine Izzy gets injured. Nate. They have Strickland headlining for an interim middle title, middleweight title fight versus who? So you're going to watch Joan Stipe. I got to be honest. I have a lot of love for both of them. But I ain't spending close to $100 to watch two geriatric farts battle. That's only one geriatric. But I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean. I'll pressure wash that day. I'll miss it. Dude, consider yourself lucky. Consider yourself lucky, buddy. But yeah, Joan Stipe is garbage too. The thing that sucks about 293 is it's literally, let's let's count the, it's almost two months away from 294. So it's ninth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six weeks away. That's a long gap. It's six weeks away from 294. Six weeks away. So, when's the next time we don't have a week of fights? So, we have weeks. We'll fight, we have fights this week. Fights the following 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 week. We don't have a break till October 28th. 294 is looking beautiful. 
Looking beautiful. I love 294. You've been warned. I have. 294 needs one more solid fight like Armin Benil. Yeah. Colby Leon, maybe. Leon Colby, whatever you want to say. Strickland versus Cannon here, too. Imagine for the interim middleweight title. I didn't see anything about Darren Till. There's no card September 30th. Ooh, I missed one, huh? You're right. There is no card September 30th. That's the next miss of a date. I look forward to it. I look forward to the break that week. It always feels like there's always something. There's always something to do, and I'm like, damn, I wish we had a week off for a change. Because what happens is Saturday night I'm up all night doing post fights and videos and what, and then Sunday I got to start working on predictions for the following week. How many of you guys have been watching the full card predictions? I've been doing them for what, a couple months now? Let's see, when did I start doing them? I used to do them on stream, and then recently I went, I said, I'm going to go full card. Because some of these main events just weren't wor worth breaking down by themselves, so it kind of made it sense to do the full card. Let's see, full card, full card, full card. UFC Vegas 74, maybe? The Dern versus Hill, I did a main card predictions. Okay. So first full card I did was May 30th. I released on May 30th. So. I swear if Charles ends up fighting Chael. I swear if Charles ends up fighting Chael is going to have an aneurysm. Why? Joe, what do you think of Max Holloway beat Mavsar Evlev right now? I think it would be a decent win. So. What the F happened with O'Malley? What do you mean? He was just watching reactions to people's uh, reactions to his win. And he was reacting to them. So it was like a reaction to a reaction to a reaction. September 30th will be Canelo Charlo for boxing. So that I'll watch at least some fights. I won't be watching. I love your prediction videos. Listen to them on road trips. How often are you going on road trips? Who watches the full card predictions every single week? Let me know in the chat right now. I really enjoy the full card predictions to be honest. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mike. Thank you for being a member as well. I appreciate it, my friend. It means the world to me. It means the world. But um, I put it in the title. If you watch every video, I appreciate you so, bro. Thank you so, bro. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate it. But, yeah, if you haven't watched the full card predictions, start watching the full card predictions. I like to get them up. I want, like, every full card prediction to get, like, 5K views. Start and get 5K views. I watched the majority. Yeah. Appreciate it. I watched the majority. I listen to full card videos every time I make a trek to Jack's mother's residence. Okay. I watch for the pleasure. Thank you. There's always some hidden jokes in there. Chell's peddling narrative that Charles doesn't want to fight. And at this point, he's purposely doing it. He doesn't like Charles Oliver. I noticed that a long time ago. He was saying Charles didn't deserve a title shot long before Charles, right before Charles fought Chandler for the title. Chell's an idiot. But, um, yeah, if you if you watch the full card predictions every week, I appreciate you very much. It's perfect. It's perfect, 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 perfect. Because those take a lot of work. Those take a lot of work. So, let's see. Select. Damn. There's three more badges. There's 24-month badge, 36-month badge, and 48-month badge. I just looked at it, what it was. All right, that's crazy. Don't let him bully you, son. The Singapore card is good. Why is it at 2 a.m.? Because it's in Singapore. Do you honestly think Sanhagen beats O'Malley? Sanhagen's a bad matchup because he's a competent striker but also a competent grappler. People have no idea how long full car predictions take, especially on fight nights. Got to watch a lot of tape. Got to watch a lot of tape. I've tried to like streamline it a little bit and not watch as many fights as I need to. Or not watch as many fights as I used to. Because it used to be I'd be like watching four fights from each guy and I'm like, damn, I, I talk about it, the fight for a minute and a half. I don't need all this information. Watch a fight, maybe two fights from each guy. 
look at look over the over the record, kind of remember some of the fights maybe that I don't watch, and then give my best guess. I was also peddling an anti-Leon narrative and then got his panties in a twist when Leon refused to fight Colby. Yeah, Chael's a Colby uh, D-rider. There's a lot of them, apparently. There's a lot of them. I've been watching them all of them since I subscribed. Also, are you excited for a Amavov Alaskarov and what brings to what it brings to the middleweight division? Yeah, I love that fight. I love the the Amavov Alaskarov fight. It's a great fight. For 290, I spent like 18 hours on it. Damn, dude. Damn. That's a lot of time. Yeah, I, I would say on average 6 to 12 hours on prediction videos. And I wish there was a way to get pictures for every fight, but there's just not. There's not enough time to make side-by-sides. Half the time I, I have issues finding uh, side-by-side, making side-by-sides for certain fighters and finding pictures of them to use. Because I make all my side-by-sides. I'm not just Googling a side-by-side and saving it. I'm making all my side-by-sides personally. Plus, Joey O'Malley wouldn't have a height and reach advantage against Sanhagen. They're both about the same size. I don't. I didn't know that. But yeah, Sanhagen's going to be a tough matchup for O'Malley. I don't think O'Malley's going to be a long reigning champion. It depends how much the UFC project protects him. So, we'll, we shall see. So now we all know why you don't like O'Malley. What do you mean? I like O'Malley, dude. I just don't like his fans. His caught fans. His caught fans. When I watch film like example Holloway TKZ, I only watch one round of their last fight because I see the outcome. Yeah, Holloway TKZ, I didn't really watch much footage. I already knew what's going to happen in that fight. So I didn't watch much footage on that. Also, by the way, anything to do with the uh, the O'Malley video that I posted on my Instagram of O'Malley reacting to me, that made me like O'Malley more, just so you guys know. Joe, who do you think ultimately dethrones O'Malley? I'm going to throw a wild card out there. I'm going to say Umar Nurmagomedov ultimately dethrones O'Malley. That's what I'm going to go with. That's what I'm going to go with. But who knows? Could be Marab. Could be Marlon Vera. Don't be shocked if he fights Marlon Vera and Marlon Vera finishes him. Holloway TKZ will be copy and paste of the Volk TKZ fight. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. We shall see. Imagine the Korean zombie goes out there and starches. I wonder if anyone's picking TKZ. Let's see who, Let's see what the percentage is on topology. Got to be 99% Max Holloway. 97% are picking Max Holloway. 3% are picking TKZ. Damn. Damn. Nobody thinks TKZ is going to pull off that win. That's really bad. That is really, really bad. But yeah, I don't see him having a chance all that much. He has to get a finish. He has to get a finish. And uh, I just don't know if he can pull it off. I just don't know if he can pull it off. Damn. Damn. I can't believe it's almost September, boys. I genuinely can't believe that. That's the craziest thing to me. 3% probably all Koreans, maybe. They're trying to will it into existence. Aljo ain't getting a rematch because he wasn't a champ loved by the company. Aljo will never fight for a title again. Unless it's short notice and he's saving a card, Aljo will never fight for a title again. Holloway has a solid chin and crisp boxing. I think TKZ will look old. Who knows? You never know. TKZ has decent power. You never know. And he has good leg kicks, but we'll see. I can't believe we got we to gotta wake up early. I probably won't even go to sleep. We'll wake up early to watch TKZ get his soul snatched up by Max Holloway. Joey, I honestly think Ian Gary versus Shavkat is a great matchup. I agree. And I seen apparently Ian Gary was calling out Shavkat. I think he tweeted it out something. He'll fight Shavkat. He tweeted he wanted Colby too. Apparently, he said something about fighting Colby. He called out Hamza Chemaev as well. I respect it. There's too many pussies in the welterweight division not willing to fight anyone. So if he's actually willing to fight those guys, which it seems like he is, I, I respect it a whole lot. I respect it a whole lot. Uh. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with Gary next. I hope that Gary, like, if it's up to me, who do I book? Who do I book Ian Gary against? Let's take a look at the UFC rankings real quick. Let me take a look. If it's up to me, who am I booking Ian Machado Gary up with next? Maybe the Jeff Neal matchup. I like the Wonder Boy fight, but at the same time, Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy doesn't deserve. Make him fight Renat Fakradinov. No, I don't want to give Wonder Boy Ian Gary. He'll like it because he's a striker. If it's up to me. Give me Ian Gary versus Gilbert Burns. Or if for some reason they were going to do Bilal versus Leon, do Colby versus Ian Gary. Or do Usman versus Ian Gary. That's what I want to see. I want to see a massive, like, Piotr Jan, Sean O'Malley step up for Ian Gary. I like the confidence, and I want to see him fight a big name. And I don't, I don't think Wonderboy deserves to fight Ian Gary. Dude's a puss. Dude's an absolute puss. I like Ian versus Wonderboy, but we'll see if it happens. Yeah, I don't want Wonder Boy. Wonderboy doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. Give him Renat Fakhradin off. Or make him fight Shavkat, one or the other. I wouldn't mind the Shavkat fight either for Ian Gary. I'd love it. I'd co-sign it in a minute. But I do kind of want to see them both continue their upward trajectory and, and knock off some of these guys who have been squatting on their ranks. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Burns versus Gary. Yeah, I want, if I'm making the fight, I'm making Burns versus Gary. I'm sorry, Burns. I'm sorry, Burns. Oh, yeah, Burns and Gary are friends. You're right. Damn it. You're right. That's the one guy Gary doesn't want to fight necessarily. Yeah, so just book it. Book him versus Jeff Neal again. Or book him versus uh, Sean Brady. Sean Brady fights good. Hi, Joey Chikadze. Okay. Oh, he's in fighting Shavkat. They train together. Sparring as per Big John. And Josh doesn't go this way. I'd book him against JDM. Yeah, dude, book him against J. Who's JDM fighting? Kevin Holland? If JDM wins that, book him. But that's the same thing as the kind of the Shavkat thing. So if I can make any fights, I'm booking Ian Gary Kamaru Usman then. If he beats Kamaru, give him a title shot. Screw it. Give him a title shot. Michelle Pereira. Michelle Pereira doesn't deserve it. Dude can't make weight. Joe, who would you pick in Gary versus Shavkat fight? I'd pick Shavkat 100%. And I'd be really torn on who I would want to win. I'd probably want Shavkat to win because I think I've always called him a future champion. But it'd be sad. Don't be surprised if Holland beats JDM. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be at all. Wouldn't be in the least bit. By the way, guys, if you could all like the stream, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm doing this stream with a sore throat. I'm losing my voice. You guys have been abusing my throat, my throat for days on end. So if you guys could all run up the likes. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Oh, it, it was meant to sound dirty. What was the point of it? It was meant to sound dirty, bro. Michelle has a fight at 185. Who's he fighting? Fill me in. You you guys are accustomed to abusing my throat. Sorry, you stop, dude. That's too far. Too far. You got, Are you guys accustomed to it? Yeah. I literally want to record a video tonight. I'm probably not going to because it's like my voice is going away. My throat is has been brutalized. Is it possible Shavkat MVP? Yes, but dude, Shavkat will mop the floor with MVP. Pretty sure he's fighting Mark Andre Barrio. I've heard that too, but I've never seen anything about it. But maybe I've just missed it. I, I don't. I'm not paying like super hyper close attention to like other like non big matchups like that being announced. I might have missed some in the, in the hubbub of 292. Valentina card falling apart. Fluffy just pulled out. D Rod pissed hot. I know, dude. That card looking. That card's looking atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Nico Price versus Shaf. Nico Price would literally get slaughtered. It's signed an official per big Marcel. Thank you. All right, I'll take your word for it. Marc-Andre Barrio will finish Michelle Pereira, and that'll be the end of him. 
That'll be the end of him. Do you think Sterling will get a rematch? No, he will never fight for a title ever again, in my opinion, no matter what he does. Unless he steps in to save a card, he's never, ever, 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 ever fighting for a title again, in my in my humble opinion. So, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. I can't believe we're cruising up to 12,000 subs, boys. We're cruising towards 12,000. We're going to get there soon. We're going to get there soon. I got some good video ideas I need to make this week, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, we shall see what happens. But, appreciate you guys for watching. The watch time has been crazy recently. The views have been really good lately. Um, so I appreciate you guys for sure. I just got to get on a couple videos. Book Sterling Yan for the title eliminator. I want to see Sterling Yan 3. I agree. I agree. Are you interested in knowing PFL is interesting right now? Yeah, I may or may not watch after the stream. I may or may not watch. I don't know. I got a I got a tiny bit of a headache and my throat. I might I went to bed early last night. Early. And when I say early, I went to bed maybe eleven o'clock, I think it was last night. I woke up a little bit at one. But then I, that was the most sleep I've gotten in literal years. Was over the last twenty four hours. So I feel a little bit weird. I feel a little bit weird. I didn't take a nap today. So Denise Gomes versus Angela Hill got announced for... Ew, who wants to watch that? Ew, Sterling might as well do celebrity boxing. He would get slaughtered, dude. He's a horrible striker. Who'd you put higher on the Bantamweight GOAT list, Aljo or Cruz? I don't know. I had to think about it. And do we consider... Do we consider Cruz's WEC resume? If we do, then Cruz. I also think Aljo, the, the wins are kind of... There's some tainted wins. we got to give him the respect for being in those fights, but the wins aren't that good. When will Makashev go up to welterweight? Two years from now, I'll say. The main fight is Shane Burgos. Yeah, I feel like people hype up Shane Burgos all that too much. But yeah, I know what you mean. I might tune in. I might not. I don't know yet. Call me a casual. Call me what you will. I may or may not. We shall see what happens. I can't believe tomorrow is already Thursday. And I feel like I haven't put out enough content this week. But I guess I really have, if you think about it. Since Saturday night, I put out one, two, three, four, five, six videos. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. In four days, I put out six videos. Do you like the 293 poster? No, 293 is dog shit. 293 is dog shit. Dog shit. Doo doo. Do you think it's unfair that Piotr is ranked number five? No, I don't care what streak he's on. I don't care what streak he's on. Guys, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat. How do we have almost eighty people watching right now? We got like two people in the chat right now. Are you guys just lurking around? We're only going for a little bit longer. So if you have any questions, you want to rub Sean and Mally's win in the way, win in the chat, rub it into me. Feel free. Pause. Um, or any other questions. I like how you guys just lurk, and we're just going to listen to him talk. We're just going to listen to him talk. Justin Toffa versus Austin Lane, main card on pay-per-view. Ew, I know. Joe, besides John Jones, who's your favorite heavyweight fighter to watch right now? Damn, that's a tough question, bro. None of them. I don't want to watch any of them. Jolton Almeida, I guess. Everyone else is a literal bum. Besides maybe Tom Aspinall. I'll say Jolton Almeida. I don't really like the UFC heavyweight division at all. Did you catch O'Malley's comments about you on a stream? Yes, somebody sent it to me. I posted it on my Instagram. It was awesome. Who will be three division champ? Nobody. O'Malley versus Allen Rodriguez versus Ortega. How does it go? Why is O'Malley going up a weight class already? Allen would probably beat him. Rodriguez starches Ortega. 
Tom Aspinall for me. Pavlovich. Oh, you're right. I'm dumb. I forgot about Pavlovich. I'll go Pavlovich. Thank you, guys. I'm dumb. I don't know how I missed him looking at the rankings. He's number one, too. Um, yeah, Sergey Pavlovich will be it. Chris Barnett, no. Do you have much of a life outside YouTube, bro? Seems like you're always on stream. Depends what you consider a life. I mean, I got a lot of stuff to do in my personal life that I'm always out. When I'm not in this room streaming or making a video, I'm usually not even in my house. Uh, if that makes sense, you know. But it's not like I'm, you know, going to concerts or something like that. I don't know what you're what you're trying to imply there, but. I basically make videos, stream, play a little bit of disc golf, do a little bit of fishing, um, and uh, go see my grandmother, and that's about it for free time. That's what I do. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by the question, but yes, I have a all right life outside of YouTube. Um, Ortega should fight Mavsar Ivloev. I think Ortega should fight Diego Lopez. That's what I want. Three O'Malley's versus Sergey pa one Sergey Pavlovich who wins three O'Malley's. Crazy how Gon was ranked above Pavlovich for a while, even after the Jones loss and Blades. Yeah, it made no sense. Arnold Allen versus Cater too. Sure, why not book it? Cater has a fight, I think. The heavyweight division is thicker than Chelsea Charms. That's saying something. It's so effing vicious. Any movement takes months. Yeah, it's slow. I recently went to a wing stop in London for the first time. It's garbage, dude. It's garbage. Mavsar versus Allen is the fight to make. I like that. Yeah, I'm smoking weed with O'Malley fanboys in my free time. Yeah. Yep. If I'm not here in front of this camera, I'm outside, most likely. Most likely. Or I'm smoking weed with my marijuana tube socks embroidered. Yep. Or occasionally, I become accustomed. I become accustomed. If my fiance gets out of line, she starts getting an attitude, I immediately put her in the Boston crowd. I've been become accustomed to that. I really enjoy She's listening to this stream right now. I guarantee you laughing. I become accustomed to put my fiance in the Boston crowd. She'll be like, my knees, my knees, save me. She's tapping. She's going for the she's going for the bottom rope. She's trying to get a clean break. We got the WWE ref coming out of the coming out of the wings, waiting in the wings. Allen versus Jair makes sense. That does. There's a lot of fights that make sense at featherweight, but nobody wants. Seems like a lot of people don't want to fight each other either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of times, if I'm not Boston Crab and her, we tune into Animal Planet specifically for the commercials. That's funny. If my girl gets out of hand, I just get back and pause. Pause. Yeah. Usually if I'm having any problems, if I'm having any relationship problems, I just call Neil Magny. He's accustomed to dishing out beatings. Do you think O'Malley will be on the cover of the next UFC game? I'll say yes. I'll say there'll be two cover athletes. O'Malley will be one of them. Boston Crab, you're more vicious than Jones and Dana combined. <laughs> Yeah, you, you 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 get you give a little uh back sash to me, you end up with a torn ACL, double torn ACLs. Yeah. That's that's that depends. If we're at home, I give her the Boston crab. But sometimes I might if she starts if she starts to get too much of an attitude, I put her on a private jet, I fly her to a club in Mexico, and I make sure I'm fifty three years old. Build UFC three hundred, it's too far away, dude. It's too far away. Volk is on the cover. Well, maybe they'll do Volk and O'Malley. If Parker Porter wins Saturday, he should be given the title shot immediately. I think they should put him on the cover of EA Sports UFC. So, but yeah. Just make sure she gets out of hand. Make sure she only gets out of hand when that club in Mexico at 53 years old. Jerome's not my unit. Dude, chill. That's weird. I don't even know what that means. And I'm not even, I'm not even going there. I'm not even going there, bro. I've gotten crabs in Boston. Has it sunk for in for you that O'Malley is literally the champion of Bantamweight? Yes. Put Josh Parisian's butt crack on the UFC 5 cover. I, I think I would agree with you. 
Or just put Neil Magny with a belt. <laughs> put Neil Magny with a belt on the on the cover of UFC five. I think that I think that would make the most sense. Yeah, Neil Magny and his hairline with the belt. Damn. But then again, they're tr- they're trying to. That game is being marketed to minors, so I don't know. That might that might deter sales. That might deter sales. I don't know. They become a the minors become accustomed to buying UFC games. I just hate EA Sports. Why did why did Dana have to sign a deal with EA Sports? They they make such shit video games. You know, Magni's hairline UFC five cover. I agree. I'm with you 150 percent, bro. Put the Magni with the belt in the phone cover of CPS five. Dude, someone needs to Photoshop that. Somebody Photoshop that. I think you can drop Magni with a leg kick. <laughs> What's your height? Wouldn't you like to know? Guess it. Guess it. Um, yeah, Hap, Hap was in here. He may have an odd name. He was in here the other day. He used to be a troll. All he used to do is come in here and troll. And then he said, you know what, Joey, you really grew on me. I've become accustomed to your live streams. And, uh, now he's a fan and now he's a fan. It's a beautiful story. If you're a troll, you're a hater, you watch long enough. I'll turn you into a fan quick. I'll turn you into a fan quicker than Neil Magny's son puts out the trash on trash night. Joey's 5'3". Yeah, I'm 5'2". I'm 5'2". <laughs> I'm, I'm 5'2". I can't, reach, I can't reach things on the top shelf. Joey, I'm accustomed, my brother. Thank you. I, tur- I turned you from a troll to a channel supporter. There's, there's, no big, there's no bigger compliment than that. There's no bigger compliment than that. We need a, if UFC 5 Legend Edition with Braxton Smith on the cover... Imagine Braxton Smith on the cover of UFC 5. Dude gassed out in literally 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Magni and Porter versus Marab and Anthony Smith. Who wins? Marab and Anthony Smith. Um, What's your favorite U.S. city outside of B-more? I don't know. I never really thought put too much thought into it. I will admit I was an Aljo after the way he got his title, but I'm one of his biggest fans now. The dude was an epitome of a fighting champion. Good man. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. He grew on some people. He got he got too much hate, and I was I was a part of that as well. But he got too much hate. Braxton Smith will start the game with half the energy tank. T- energy tank. I agree. I think that that only makes sense. We need UFC five legendary edition with cover of Chelsea Chandler running away. And then Braxton Smith popped for PEDs. I forgot about that, bro. We as MMA fans need to have a comma. O'Malley could KO Volk. No, absolutely not. Volk would wreck O'Malley badly. The fact that Braxton Smith was able to make it to UFC with no fight camp until a month to his UFC. If Braxton Smith can fight in the UFC, so can I. I wish they would just give me a short notice fight. But just give me it against a winnable opponent. <laughs> Give me like a month's notice fight in the UFC heavyweight division. I want to see if I can eke out a win and cross that off the bucket list. I'm just going to do nothing but train um, nothing but train cardio for a month and then pray I get someone like Braxton Smith for my UFC debut. Like think about it. Literally, like imagine you just did, a, did a, nothing but a cardio training camp for a month and a half, month. And then you fought Braxton Smith. Um, that'd be pretty funny. You'd easily beat him. You just run around the cage. Footwork, footwork, footwork. He's gassed out in 30 seconds. Then you finish him. Then you finish him off. Pause. Braxton Smith in Salt Lake City under over 1.2 seconds. Dude, Braxton Smith in Salt Lake City is hilarious to think of. Joe, do you think Adesanya will retire as champ? I'm going to say no. But maybe. I think there's a good chance he does. But I don't, I'm going to say no. It seems like nobody... Very, it's very rare for someone to do that. The front of the game cover, the back will be Josh Parisian's face. And the back... No, the, okay. The front of the cover will be Josh Parisian's face. And the back will be his butt crack. That sounds good. Um, I see Hamza beating Adesanya. I doubt it. But maybe. It's definitely possible. It's definitely possible, but unlikely in my opinion. 
Adesanya's got good takedown defense. Very good takedown defense. And I don't know if Hamzat can go five hard rounds. I heard you fart it when you when you heard first, dude. Connor's now calling out Tony Ferguson. What a joke that would be. Sucks we won't get to see Broxton fight until 2025. Yeah, he's suspended. He's never fighting again in the UFC. I don't think. I think they'll they'll make him serve a suspension and then probably cut him. I feel like Dober beats Moya Kano. I feel like it could go either way. Could Volk beat O'Malley just striking? Yes, 100%. He's got nasty power, very good defensively as well. Who at middleweight has the best chance to beat Hamzat? Adesanya, I think. I mean, that's an easy answer. That is a very easy answer, I would say, Adesanya. McGregor going to start calling out the dead body of Nico Price. It wouldn't shock me if McGregor starts advocating to fight Tony instead of Chandler. He saw the way Chris Weidman fought against Brad Tavares, and he said, ugh. Ar Ar Armin, why you keep asking that, man? I've answered it a million times. I told you I'm 5'2". I'm 5'2". I think Cannoneer's up there. Okay. Dude, if you're going to spam the same question, I'm going to time you out. I used to heavily disagree with you on saying Izzy beats Tom's up, but after seeing the Sean KO, I realized strikers beating grapplers. Yeah, it all depends. It all depends. Bro trying to have kids with Joey, yeah. Tony has to come to terms with the fact he's older and his reactions aren't what they were. Yeah, and he never had a style that was conducive to longevity. That's just the, the God honest truth. The God honest truth. The way he fought... He could only fight for a certain period of time that way. And it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. The downfall of Tony Ferguson. If you haven't watched the video on it, I did a really good video on it. It's on the channel. Um, please go watch it. Please go watch it. It's a great video. I put that out, what, a, what two weeks ago? August 8th? Yeah, roughly two weeks ago. Um... Yeah, I want to see Volk versus Ferguson. <laughs> Dude, stop. Just stop right now. Why would you even say I must ban you immediately for that. Let's do it. Islam stop. <laughs> yeah, I think we should do... I think we should re-side Nganu and do Tony versus... Um, Tony versus Nganu. Thoughts on Sean calling you fat? I posted it on my Instagram. I think it's hilarious. I appreciate it. Do you plan on having kids? And if yes, how old until you give them the Magni treatment? I don't know. I have to think about that one. I've become accustomed to not beating any children. I've become accustomed to that, you know? I think next training camp, Neil Magni is going to um, brag about beating his dog. And the MMA community will defend him. Dude's going to be like, yeah, um, I'm used to beating my dog. Um... I'm used to beating my dogs. That's the kind of beating I'm going to give on Saturday. I'm used to... I think when I fight, you know, whoever it may be, I'm, I'm going to fight Michelle Pereira. I'm looking forward to hearing him go, yipe! Because I'm used to beating my dogs. And I'm accustomed to it. Um, I posted it on Instagram if you want to see it. Go look at my Instagram. I posted the clip. It got taken down. Sean got scared, man. He got scared. I started threatening him a little bit. He got scared. He took it down. Do you think Tony will be the Hall of Famer? Yes. But if he keeps losing, maybe not. I don't know. Tony would beat Ngannou in two seconds? Yeah. Yep. The only thing that the only thing that annoyed me about the uh, O'Malley clip was you can't see what my channel name is anywhere on there. Like, I wish my channel name is, is was on there. I know a lot of channels have, like, the neon signs. Um, just in general, a lot of YouTube channels have that. I wish it was there for this. I wish I had a neon sign in the background that said my uh, YouTube name so people could come find it off of that. But I guess the stream got taken down anyway. Nobody gives a fuck about what Magni said, but when Izzy taunted a kid, the MMA community exploded. Exactly. Exa Thank you, JJ Smoke, for understanding. 
Joe, you can clown me for this, but I honestly think O'Malley beats Marab. I wouldn't be confident in it, but I, I'm not going to clown you for it. I think O'Malley can beat Marab. It's weird, dude. People were like, is he so classless? Can you believe this? Can you believe he fell to the ground after pointing at a teenager? Oh, my God. It's the end of the world. Yeah. Magni, from all I know, Magni has a three-year-old son. Pre-order UFC 5 and Ruza Boev's coach oil check emote. <laughs> yeah. Rewatch Jan vs. O'Malley and Jan won 80-85% to 85 of that fight. I know, dude. Stop the abuse. Stop the abuse. We're not punching bags. Exactly, JJ. Exactly. I, I just can't believe, I, I can't believe that people were so angry that Adesanya fell to the ground. Fell to the ground as a celebration in the cage, hundreds of feet away from Alex Pereira's teenage son. But Magni says he beats his kids, and it's all great. It's all fine and dandy. This is my Instagram. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, go follow me. If you don't, don't. But I posted it on there for you all to see. Pretty funny. Um, Magni's son is 13. Does he have a 13-year-old son, too? Either way, it doesn't make it right. I just know he has a 3-year-old son. I don't know if the answer's online. How many children does Neil Magni have? It's reported that he has two kids. Now, his, his son's 3 years old. He has a baby and a three-year-old son. It seems. According to these pictures. So, that's that's incorrect. That is incorrect. So. Um, I can't lie. I've kicked my dog across the room. That's fucked up, dude. Don't, I don't ever say that shit again. I don't ever do that shit again. If you're kicking your dog, you're a piece of shit. Um, can you briefly explain the Neil Magny controversy? What did he say? I don't watch the press conference. I didn't watch it either, but I just saw it after the fact. It's all in my latest video, but Neil Magny said, as a father, there's a, no, wait, let me, let me stop. Let me stop. He said, there's a beating that you'd give your son as a life lesson. And as a dad, I've become accustomed to giving out those beatings. Basically that. Basically that. Go watch it. Maybe he might have said the word whooping. Whooping, beating, same thing to me. Search up how many children does Neil Magny beat up? Yeah. Yeah, dude, Hap, don't say that shit ever again. Don't do that shit ever again. If you're abusing animals, you're a piece of shit too. So don't say that. I don't know if it's a joke or not, but don't do that. And don't ever do it again. That's that's really shitty. Um, can't you explain 30 years of what? Can you explain the 30 years of UFC? I missed some. No. Who do you have for Gon Spivak? I'm going Spivak by domination. Do you think his son cheered when he lost? Yes. And he was probably faint in leg kicks while he was watching. I think. But yeah, dude, the, the Neil Magny topic's dead. We've talked about it ad nauseum. I did a full video about it if you want to go check it out and disagree with me. But yeah, it's out on the channel right now. Nobody likes it. Nobody, Everyone's pissed about it. If you guys care to go watch it, here it is. If you care to hear, go watch it, I break down the entire situation. There's the link to the video. We're not going to talk about it anymore. I'm happy Ian Gary called him out. And I'm happy I had an opportunity to make a video calling out the MMA community for their hypocrisy. Massive hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. I just misspoke there. Uh, but luckily I didn't accidentally say I beat my three-year-old son. So that's a, that's a win. Wins the lottery via split decision. Okay. I don't know what you're getting at there. But anyway, guys, go check out that video. 
And do me a favor, like it, comment on it. Let me know what you think. You can disagree with it, but just go watch it and give me your opinion on it. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here. My throat is killing me. I'm losing my voice. And uh, I might not do a video tonight just because of that. I'm going to try to rest it up. I'm going to try to rest up this throat. And uh, I can pleasure you guys again tomorrow. So if you're watching the stream, like the stream. Go watch the Ian Gary, uh, Neil Magny video, which I've linked in the chat. If, you, if you've already watched that, go watch my UFC Singapore predictions. Uh, they're on their channel as we speak. And uh, appreciate you guys for joining me. Thank you very much. And I will talk to you later. Like the stream on your way out. Thank you so much for watching and good night.